Hello there, I hope you had a nice week. Today we are building the so-called Rose House, which was designed by the Ukrainian architect Sergei Manko and Alexander Kaufpak. This house is situated in the Carpathian Mountains and it was built in 2017. I've put a link to the website of the two architects in the description box down below. This house combines the strict geometrical minimalism and brutalism style with flowing organic forms of the Japanese design. It is made out of concrete, weathering steel and glass. The name Rose House came from the blooming red walls, the architects explain. Due to the floor to sailing windows, the nature can interact with the interior where the visitor can observe the change of the seasons. The pool with its surrounding walls acts as a bridge between the untamed nature and ordered architecture. Three weeks ago the war between Ukraine and Russia started. While we all hope that it will end soon and the people of Ukraine can return safely to their families, their fathers, brothers and sons, the end is uncertain. It is important to show solidarity to the victims of this war and to ease their struggles. There are many ways to help. You can help by donating money, for example on the official donations websites of your country. Please remember that no amount is too small to help the people in need. If you live in Europe, you can help by donating supplies. Non-profit organizations in your area collect items that are needed by the refugees. On their websites you can find lists of what is needed. If you want to donate food, please make sure that it's durable foods like cans and noodles. There is also a need for items for personal hygiene like pets and products for toddlers like diapers and formula. But you can also donate your time. You can help your local organizations by sorting donations, helping refugees with information or handing out food in refugee centers. Though we are facing this awful crisis, there are still people trying to make money out of it. Double check the donation sites and make sure your money will reach Ukrainians. So let's come to the build. I tried to recreate the exterior of the house as close to the original as possible. With the game's restrictions it wasn't always possible though. The front facade has a diagonal wall with a tiny roof above the entrance, which I could not recreate. But I'm happy with how it turned out anyway, especially with the Japanese style garden by the pool. The recreation of the outdoor area took me quite a while. Especially the hilly landscape with the many trees put me to the test of patience, as I had to use the tool mod a lot. The structure of the stone garden contracts, contrasts nicely with the untamed nature of the Carpathian mountains and forests. To have enough room for the landscaping, I chose the 64 by 64 lot in Windenburg. The original layout contains a large living area with a kitchen, a hallway, one bedroom and two bathrooms. I kept the first floor as close to the original as possible and I allowed myself only a few times to differ from this to adopt the house for gameplay. The layout of this house is designed as a freely flowing space. Because I couldn't find any pictures of the interior, I decided to mostly use the modern items from the Eco Lifestyle and Dream Home Decorator packs. While in the original layout there is no basement, I added one so you can move a bigger family on the slot. By adding a basement I was able to make the house bigger but keep the outer appearance of the house intact. For this I switched the guest bathroom with an undefined room so your sims can reach the staircase from the hallway.
For the interior of this house I used dark wallpapers and bright wooden colors to simulate the nature of the Carpathian Mountains inside. For this I mostly used Eco Lifestyle and Dream Home Decorator as both use a modern style combined with a lot of wood elements. To fill up the big space I placed a big kitchen island and a big table from Eco Lifestyle. In the original layout the couch is facing the windows on the right, which I originally tried to recreate. But to me this didn't look right in The Sims and so I decided to let the couch face the wall and the TV. I didn't clutter up this area too much as I wanted to give it a modern and clean look. I put some plants here and there, but focused more on wall decorations and hang some eye-catching pictures on the walls. As it was the case in the living area, I kept the furniture in the bedroom minimal. The dark walls are supposed to be a link to the dark forest surrounding the house. The many wooden elements underscore the location amidst the nature. During the making of this house a few things changed, which I had to cut out due to the length of this video. But you can see the end result in the end of this video on the pictures I took. In the original layout the bed is facing the pool, but because of the second door I added the bed is now facing the forest. This is uh, probably not the best solution as one can't see the entrance door, but the sims have a nice view at least.
While in the original layout a single door led to a very big master bathroom, I decided to split this place and to add a walk-in wardrobe. I did this to keep the bedroom as minimal as possible and keep distracting objects away. The walk-in wardrobe is a light space with a lot of storage, but also a little retreat. It was important to me that every room radiate calmness and peace and connects it to the nature surrounding the Rose house. By building the house and making the footage for a short, I realized there is a bug with the dream home decorator hanging clothes. They disappeared every now and then and I found them in the house inventory. I hope when you download the house, the items will still be there. Due to the length of this video, I will only show you the master bathroom. The other two baths are decorated in a similar way. The guest bath on the first floor also contains a laundry area. I kept the baths dark. The flooring and the wall tiles come with the city living pack. As the original layout showed, a whirlpool in the master bath, I used a big bathtub as I don't own the perfect Paishu stuff pack. For the wall decor I used the gallery art by X Kobe Moji and DB Day Den Myers. You can find the usernames in the description box. So make sure to enable CC in the search if you want to download this house. As there are packs with items which reminds me of the traditional Slavic designs, I decided to add a little corner for this on the landing of the staircase. For this I used the movie hangout and city living packs. In my mind the Sims who are living here had those items in their old house or maybe from their parents and grandparents and wanted to keep them as a keepsake, which reminds them of their origin and traditions. I designed the basement area as a working space for the sims living here. There is a big photo studio. The light comes in through the windows which are facing the swimming pool, making it a pretty cool and stylish place for photo shootings. 
Mostly I used the Moschino pack for this, which I bought some time ago but never had the chance to try it out. Here is also a little chill out area where the model can uh, also change their outfits. As sims only swirl for this I didn't mind it being an open space, but they can also go to the adjoining bathroom for this. In the basement there is also a guest bedroom aka an office area for the other sim. As we don't have an architect career in Sims 4 I decided to give the other sim the interior designer career. To make this space multifunctional I used the tiny living and dream home decorator packs. For, uh, for the walls I used the cheerful yellow wallpaper but kept the wood furniture elements like in the rest of the house. There are three outdoor areas in this build. One is situated by the pool and is for the parties. There is a big dining table with a barbecue and a bar. I have to admit that the outdoor areas were the hardest for me because there are three of them in the original layout and in the beginning I didn't know what to do with so much space. As I said before, I changed quite a few things while building and what you see now is not the end result, um, but you can see the end result in the end of this video. The second area is located near the kitchen of this build and it is made for cozy get-togethers where your sims can play cards or enjoy the campfire. The third outdoor area is at the master bedroom. It is a private area where your sims can relax and use the base game role pool. We are coming to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Today I want to end this video with an appeal rather than the usual stuff. Please don't ignore the situation in the Ukraine and show solidarity to the victims of the war. I wish you a nice weekend and hope you to see you next time. So bye bye.